Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Harley, food blogger, content creator and over eater. Welcome back to another episode of Box vs Baker. On today's Box vs Baker, we are taking on chocolate cake. Not just any chocolate cake, apparently the Betty Crocker Deviled Food Cake Mix chocolate cake. This is the box, it's going against the baker who is obviously always kind of myself, but also in this case, the Queen, Rue Batando. I absolutely love this book. Um, I feel like celebrity chefs don't always get like enough props and especially have a cover for Bake Off like I don't know I feel like not enough love and respect has been given to Ruby and this her first book she has another book which I have called Flavour and actually a non-baking book called Eat Up all of which I'll provide links to in the description the recipe we're going to be following from Crumb is for Ruby's chocolate fudge cake and also the chocolate fudge ganache I also have the Betty Crocker as recommended, indulgent chocolate fudge icing on the back, which it says to serve with, which I guess is what we'll give you. This amazing looking cake on the cover. Oh, and I was supposed to end up looking something like this. So, this is going to be a bit of a mishmash in terms of actually getting stuff done. The first thing I have to make is a chocolate fudge ganache, which is from the book as well, which makes enough to fill and cover one 20 centimeter sandwich cake, eight inch tin. So for the ganache we need soft dark brown sugar, dark chocolate, golden syrup and double cream. There's also actually a pinch of salt in the dark brown sugar already. Recipe is quite simple. This is for a covering and filling ganache, not the kind of ganache that you would use for like cake drips um, or piping. Actually you can pipe with this, I have piped with this but it's just not decorative ganache. This is delicious fudgy ganache. For Ruby's chocolate fudge cake, you will need 200 grams of dark chocolate and 200 grams of unsalted butter, four large eggs, 200 millilitres of milk, 100 grams of soft dark brown sugar and 160 grams of caster sugar, 50 grams of cocoa powder, which you can't see but is under there, 200 grams of plain flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of bicarb and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'll start with the milk. I don't want the hot chocolate to scramble the eggs. Then I'll add the eggs so that our whisk can actually break those yolks. This is basically making chocolate custard. <laughs> break those yolks up and then we'll get our sugar in. Just whisk that until it's combined. Yeah, voila. I'm gonna keep going a little bit. <laughs> still a little bit lumpy, still some bigger lumps in there. Let's just. I very nearly just gave up. The box nearly just won already and I haven't even made it yet. Where is it? <laughs> I made everything and everything seems to be absolutely fine. And then when I went to put it in the oven, it just didn't look right. I'm gonna take it out and stab it. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, no, something's gone wrong with this cake, which effectively means that box has already won but we're gonna continue Betty Crocker Devil's Food Cake Mix this box says 
Only three steps to cake heaven. Mix the eggs, oil, water, and cake mix gently together and whisk by hand or electric mixer for two to three minutes until smooth and creamy. Pour the cake mix evenly into two greased cake tins. For cupcakes, handy, makes 24 cupcakes. Pour evenly into cupcake cases. Bake in the center of an oven for between 23 to 28 minutes and all until a rounded knife. A rounded knife? Until a rounded knife inserted into the center of the cake comes out clean. I have no idea what a rounded knife is. That seems simple enough. All you need is 120 ml of vegetable oil, 230 ml of water, three eggs, and a tub of the Betty Crocker. Alexa, stop. A tub of the Betty Crocker indulgent chocolate fudge icing. Okay, fine, fine. I'm not quitting. I'm not giving up. And this is probably why you shouldn't try and make too many YouTube videos in one day, because then you get tired and that you want to give up and you don't want to do it anymore. That's the ganache that's calling, which kind of, I, I, it didn't go wrong, but it went wrong because I didn't do it on camera because I forgot what I was doing, why I was even doing this. This is fine, everything's fine, this is fine, this is fine. Okay, Betty Crocker, what have you got for me? Let's start with these eggs. So, I didn't give up. And I have the Betty Crocker cake in the oven at the moment. It has, Alexa, how long left on the timer? You have five minutes and 10 seconds left on your 23 minutes timer. Thank you. My ganache for the baker cake is pretty much set. Like it's completely cool at room temperature. As cool as room temperature can be. I've leveled the baker cakes, the chocolate fudge cake by Ruby Tando, which I don't really want to keep saying because I feel like I've, I've, I've definitely messed it up somewhere. When I leveled it, I tasted the top and it does still taste good. So I don't know, maybe I just, it definitely, it definitely didn't bake well. But it did because it's like so light and spongy and fluffy and I don't know. Maybe it's just all in my head. This ganache is not looking like thick enough to stuck a cake with. Let's give it a go. to keep moving my camera from over there to over here but our box cake is out of the oven um and cooled it definitely is not as deep as our baker cake <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying anymore um but it is like super spongy i know that the betty crocker devil's food devil's chocolate cake is super popular like i know it's like a go-to chocolate cake mix that people make so I don't expect this to have flopped at all. I think this is a pretty reliable box cake. The Betty Crocker Indulgent Chocolate Fudge Icing. So there's actually a couple of these. I think there's a lemon, a vanilla and the instructions are pop the top, it's ready to use. Make sure it's at room temperature for the perfect finish which it has been for hours now. Um, stir the icing with a rounded knife. Again rounded knife, I think it just means butter knife. Um, and then spread or pipe onto your cooled Betty Crocker cake or cupcakes for an instant beautifying treatment. So, let's do that. Pop the top, get a rounded knife. It's definitely thicker than the ganache that we made. Um, the ganache that we made, we were able to kind of pour over the top and let drip down the sides. But I do think that something of this consistency would have been better for stacking this cake, if I'm being perfectly honest. I have my reservations about that. I spat it out. 
I also don't have a cake turntable, hence why I'm just kind of hacking the middle of the cake. <laughs> quite hard to spread. Because this is so hard to spread, I feel like it's gonna tear the cake. I don't like the smell of this. Ta da! Right, first impressions. So. This one looks very glossy and yummy. This one looks a bit dry. I guess because it just doesn't have icing down the side. So which do you think is box and which thing is baker? Hurry, because they're very heavy. This is baker, I think. I don't know, they look quite similar though. Other than that. Oh uh, yeah, I think this one's baker. You're right! <laughs> so I've got. You've got box. This is the box. And I've one. got baker. Which one should we try first? Let's go box first. Mm. It has a weird texture. It's very chocolatey. So I think it's like gummy. Now let's go baker. It doesn't taste gummy to me. Or the texture The texture it? of the cake. Like it's a lot richer. Again, that's what you said about the cookies. Because mm. we knew that we actually have good quality chocolate yeah. in this. Which do you prefer? I think the texture of this one is slightly nicer. That's why. It's the texture but of the cake. This has bite. I think the taste of the actual sponge isn't that different. Because this is a really famous box mix. It tastes really similar. This one kind of... Let me taste the cake. Kind of just... In your mouth, it just kind of dissolves. Yeah, it like disintegrates. It's still good though. I think this is better. The chocolate is a lot nicer on this. Because it's actual chocolate. Yeah. And one point that we did just raise, I don't know if you can hear or see us, but this <laughs> does not look like this. We literally made this exactly using the things that they said. Is it the same size? Exactly the same size. They lied to me. So, on this cake, on the five things that I would like to judge Box versus Baker on, the first one being the texture. Now, we just had a conversation about this, and I think the texture of the Baker cake definitely wins. The box cake just disintegrates. I think it has like a gumminess. Like, if you literally just close the sponge between your mouth, it would just kind of like stick to this. That's what it makes me feel like. The next one being the flavour. There is definitely a richer, more chocolatey flavour when you make it yourself because you can like control the quality of the chocolate and therefore you get, like I used the Bourneville chocolate for this which is not even 70% but it just gave it such a rich flavour. Ease was the next one that I wanted to judge which the box cake was definitely easier but I don't know if it was necessarily easy enough for a box cake. Like having to mix it for two to three minutes, fair enough, it's just mixing but like I didn't have to mix the baked cake for that long. Um, I don't know. Also weighing out the oil and the water. I mean, to me, you should be able to make a box cake like if you don't have scales. I don't know, that's just something that's like a bit like anal of me, but with the cookie mix cake, cookie mix cake, with the cookie mix, um, it said 30 ml, but it also said two tablespoons, whereas you don't really have the option for this cake. So this box cake does require you to actually have scales. Um, the other ingredient was just three eggs. But for three wet ingredients to go into this box mix, which are basically your fat, your liquid, and your eggs, so binding, it does make you think like, what's my box mix? Like it's literally just flour, flavoring, and a raising agent, I guess? So, not really sure if it's like any easier. I don't know if it's as easy as it could be. It's not really something that you just have in the cupboard and make a cake. You still actually have to have fresh and pantry ingredients in order to make this. Value depending on where you see your value. Both cakes are not very like labor intensive. The baker version is a little more. You melt your own chocolate and um, butter down, which does take a bit more time. Value for money wise, I'll work out the cost of the baker cake and the box. 
washing up. <laughs> Box cake wins hands down. Like literally, despite the fact that I had like pre-weighed out things, you could have like measured all the liquids in one cup and then just poured that into your dry mix ingredients instead of having to use like three dishes. Crack your eggs straight in your bowl. That could have been a two dish plus a whisk wash. So simple. Whereas with the baked cake, obviously we did have a pan that we heated water in. We had a bowl that we melted chocolate in. That's all chocolatey. Everything's chocolatey there. A spatula that we like put chocolate. It was just so much chocolate. I had chocolate everywhere. I got chocolate inside the gloves that I was using to wash up with. There was that much chocolate. So definitely box mix wins. So the baker one on flavor, the baker one on texture. Baker to me, one on value. I feel like with something with chocolate and butter, it's very hard to cut corners with. So you do end up paying a bit more, but the value in terms of like knowing number one, what's in your mix, I think that is always gonna win for me. Um, the box wins on ease, like actually practically, it is easier. And the box wins on washing up. So two out of three ain't bad for the box, but big still winning. Thank you so much for watching this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment below if there's a box versus baker mix that you would love me to try or any other videos that you'd like to see here on the channel. Thanks for watching! Bye.